You have no freaking chance. We're 10 to 2 right now. That is delicious. That is absolutely delicious. Okay, all right. Here's another clever impersonator. <laughs> Do we even have some left? Yeah, we have one spark double left. And then they lose to their own freaking nine lives. Their own freaking nine freaking lives can't protect you. They can't. Oh, oh, wait. What is happening? You lose. You freaking lose. <laughs>
be it theirs. So you can copy your own ley line binding, for example. So that means that this deck actually runs six ley line bindings if you want to see it like that. And there is a situation where it's absolutely freaking worth it. Now you might say, alone. six is a lot. You might be dead on turn four. That is true, but we're rampant, my friends. We're rampant. We have herd migration to get a land into our hand and gain some life, so we survive a little bit longer. We have the good old Beanstalk Giant to put a land onto the battlefield. We have the greater Tanuki to put a land onto the battlefield. This cannot even be countered. Same as the Shepherd Monitor. We only have one of these in the deck. There were more, but I cut it uh, for... Um, I think I put in another Tanuki. Because the turn 4 is a little bit slow. This draws you a card and puts a land onto the battlefield and they cannot even counter it. So very darn freaking good. But these are also creatures that you can play in the worst case just as blockers, you know? Same as the Beanstalk Giant or the Trumpeting Carnosaur, just as blockers, because this deck can also win without the freaking combo. And we're running, of course, Karuga, because all of our spells cost three or more. Uh, permanent spells cost three or more. And uh, that means that you can get Karuga into your hand, play it, draw a bajillion freaking cards, copy it with the Spark Double, draw even more cards, and just win with the Karuga. Also very darn freaking good. As this is also Dinosaur, you can put your Kevin of Souls into Dinosaur, have these also ready. Very darn freaking good. This is a Kraken Demon, so you cannot use it for this. And also not for the Quinctorius. But for the rest, you can just use these two, which are the two most important creatures in your deck, to play out, not for the other abilities. So just do that. Later on, Heart Migration also never hurt nobody to just play the Heart Migration and win like that, you know? Just make a bajillion little beasts. Attack it with these. It's still 15 damage every single turn that they have to deal with. And uh, to be honest, there's not too much control in the meta going on. So the most is like mid-rangey, aggressive, value-based decks that you can just easily run over. So enjoy the easiest deck you will ever play into your entire life. I don't have to go over the lands, you can just check them out yourself. If you have all the wild cards, this is absolutely worth it. If you're playing since a little bit longer, you might have most of the cards already. If you're new, maybe something like Explorer or Timeless might be a little bit hard to pull off. But this is a deck that I stole from the Arena Championship for a reason. So thank you all so very freaking much. This is too easy. I'm Max Malone and I will see you in those Diamond Rush games. All right. But we're playing a deck that beats Ractus Vampires very, very easily, even. Very easily. <gasps> Crimmers! Yes, and look, we have the combo in hand already. We're winning. We're winning before we even play anything. I like it. <laughs> I really do. Oh, no. Mill? Mill is kind of bad here. Okay, no combo piece was milled. Very good. Oh my lord. Mill is like very good against us. Very, very good against us. I mean, we're not losing with life, so let's just pay to life here. Get ourselves a white source. And if they're doing anything here, we kind of win next turn, don't we? Perfect mills. Perfect freaking mills. Okay. Alright, still perfect mills. And... One bad mill. One bad mill was achieved. Dinosaur. Let us see if they have a counter spell as well. Of course they do. Literally of course they do. Okay, all right. But next turn we play the Trumpeting Carnosaur and then we win, right? Still perfect mills here. Jace, all right. Are they just going for the 15? Nope, just for three. Yo, we win, we win. There's nothing they can do here. Literally nothing they can do here. Nothing they can do. Nah. Mill means that you're very, very... Like, mill 
has nothing to do with cowardice. Melee is like literally one of the hardest things to pull off. Literally. Literally one of the hardest freaking things to pull off. Okay, alright. Another Quintorius coming down. Another Quintorius coming down. <laughs> I mean, they're dead and they don't even know it. They're dead and they don't even know it. But here it is. Here it is. Perfection. Literal freaking perfect day scoop. Because they didn't mill me anything good. We scared of mill so hard. We're so scared of mill. And they still freaking got it so hard in their face. Get out of here. How many quins do you want? Yes, that is exactly what we're doing though. So yeah, we're up against Rudy Mancer. I like the hand. Really, really do like the hand. So let's keep it. Man, it's been such a long time that I've been playing Geruda. I loved Geruda when it came out. And what do you have here? Leyline Binding. Okay, that is pretty good. It means next turn with the Overgrown Tomb, we should be able to play it for one, which is pretty darn good. Alrighty. Oh no, it's still two. I'm bad at math. I'm bad at math. But it doesn't matter. No matter what they do here, we're still fine. At least I think so. At least I think that we're still fine. When I win, you won't be outsmarting me. Getting rid of one of them here. Getting rid of your Liliana straight up. I don't like that. I don't like that you have a Liliana and I don't. So we're on four, five, six. Geruda will be coming down soon. Okay, that does not concern me as much as you think it would. Because I still have a blue source in hand, so it's absolutely all right. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> I hope they're getting rid of... up. Oh, they're getting rid of the land, dude. Okay, all right. Straight up freaking sucks, man. Let's get a Karuga here. Whatever they play, it's still alright. Waste not, alright. Let's get rid of the waste not. And then we play Karuga next turn and draw two cards. Unless... We find a land, then I will play Giruda. Giruda, Kiruga. Beautiful names. Playing Commander the other night, a friend did Madden and Cacophony kicked, and in my turn I played Trump for Reckoning, returning my Planeswalkers. That is insanity. <laughs> that is literal insanity. <laughs> literal freaking insanity. Okay, we're missing some lands here, which sucks a lot. Um, whenever an opponent discards a creature, this is no creature. Wait, is it a creature? Oh, it is a creature, okay. Well, there ain't much I can do about it, is there now? Let's just see what we can find here. Well, that is pretty much GG, I think. Isn't it? Freaking isn't it? Pretty much G to the G. I mean, most of the things we want are already, like, somewhere hidden, you know? But still pretty good if you end a scoop. That is right! That is right! They don't know that I lost most of my combo already! They don't know that! I do, though! I knew it! And I won. Get out of here. We're up against Alex. Opponents going first. Hand is pretty good though. Even though we have the two spark doubles, but a clever impersonator can impersonate anything. How are we up against nothing but freaking mono black in a row? Nothing but mono red in a row, a uh, black in a row. Okay. Hmm. 
Vampires, okay. So all we need is like one land and we're super good. Like they never not have it. Never not have thought sees, man. We have not played a single game against a mono black deck without a thought sees. Not a single one. Not a single one. That is so crazy, man. So absolutely crazy, man. Wow. Wow. Kind of insane. Kind of insane. Well, at least we do have this now. And Kiruga in our hand. Kind of insane, man. Kind of insane that we have not played a single mono black deck or a deck with black in it that has not had a freaking thought seize. <laughs> Shuffler is fine. Shuffler is fine. <laughs> Shuffler is fine. And here comes another thought seize. Oh, okay. But I mean, they lose here. Like, there's no way they win. Okay. All right. Maybe if they have like a Shadowed Edict. Maybe if that is what they have. Good game. Good game to you as well. Good game to you as well, Mono Black. Destroying me so easily with Thought Seasons. Three Dusk Legion Zealots. You drew too many cards. You were too greedy, my friend. You were just too greedy. And greed is what will eat you up here. Oh, oops, another spark double? Oh no! I wonder what will happen next. Yeah, they scoop. Trying to defeat the master of Mono Black with Mono Black ain't gonna happen, my friend. We're freaking 5 to 0 right now with the deck. 5 to 0! Let's go, baby! We're up against Nachtrausch, which means. Well, how do you translate Rausch in English? Like. Night gaze or whatever? Oh, this is. Okay, because we have the herd migration. So, yeah. Yo, I'll agree, that is something that I posted on my channel once. So maybe you saw it there. I don't know, there is a chance, you know? All right, and Totsis. Like, never not, at, like, literally, literally. You play against a deck that has Totsis in it, it will be here turn one. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. It's like, like a promise from the game. Hey, as long as you play Totsis, you will have it in your first two turns. Guaranteed. It's, it's in the contract. It's in the code. Let's give them a little year ago, because they literally have zero mana and are doing nothing. <laughs> Why? Why are they letting me like the timer run out here? Okay, all right, that happens. That happens. It shouldn't happen, but it does. But it does, which is weird. <laughs> Just weird. <laughs> Ledger Shredder. All right. Doesn't concern me too much. I would get myself a white source here. Okay, still doesn't concern me too much here. We're already building something similar. I'm happy that you found something good. Okay, let's get a white source here. Then we can get rid of this stupid ledger shredder. We have to do it like this. I'm getting rid of you straight up. You present too much power. Too much power! Sheldred! Okay. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We will be able to play Geruda next turn, which is pretty darn good. So they're getting in your first six. What else are you doing, though, my friend? Ledger Shredder, okay. And... 
opt. All right, yeah, kind of good. Kind of really good, but I still think we have a very, very good chance at winning here. But oh, is this a demon, right? Yeah, it is a demon. Okay. All right. Getting ourselves a red source. Now, we choose demon, play Geruda, see what we hit here. There's a lot of things we could hit that would be very, very good. Yo, that of the champs! Hard at work or hardly working? Why not both? Okay, we win here. We just straight up win here. Like, there's literally nothing they can do. Literally nothing they can do. Oh no, please don't. I will even be destroying this. All right. Should have destroyed the Garuda. <laughs> Should have destroyed the Garuda. <laughs> it doesn't matter, though. Doesn't really matter. Here's another Garuda now. Okay. All right. Okay, here it is. Here's another Carnosaur. Here's another freaking Carnosaur. All righty. No freaking righty. And here's Quintorius now. All right, I think we win. I don't want to be that guy, but I feel like we can win this. I feel like we can win this. Alright. Oh, now I get it. Well, now I get it. I always copied the non-spark double. That is what I did. I always copied the non-spark double by sheer coincidence, which is kind of crazy that I did that. But also kind of good that I did that. Oh, that was it? Alright, that was it. We're still looking pretty good with this board, you know? Still looking pretty darn good with this board. Alright, go ahead and draw your cards. Dream your dream, my friend. Dream your dream! Okay, lose more life. That is absolutely fine with me. I don't even know what we have left, but I still feel like we can win this easily. Alright, that is very good. Still alright with me. The Greater Tanuke. Okay, let's just attack and see what they're doing. Kinda have to block here, you know? Kinda freaking have to block here. Let's choose Dinosaur. This is the first game where, you know, they kind of look like they could like produce a problem for us the first game and still this is our board still this is our board I, do they have push pull in hand they have push pull in hand that would be crazy but then why shouldn't they choose something of our deck you know treasure cruise okay treasure cruise is pretty good here but if they attack in they're dead Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> that is like a zero uh, business for them. Still kind of crazy. You could also find like a ley line binding, you know? Another Prophet's Edict, okay. How many cards have they drawn now? Oh my lord. Maybe they are getting us? Yo, that is way too close for comfort. Way too close for comfort. If they got us here now, well, there's nothing I can do about it, is there now? Oh, okay, we got them. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't even do the math. I was like, you know what? Let's just swing in. See what happens. 
That was crazy, man. That was cra I did have fun. That was a crazy match. And the first match that went over two minutes. Get out of here. We're up against Ziegheart. Okay. All right, Ziegheart. <gasps> Krimus! Yes, Krimus! I really like the hand. Because all we need to do is to get to turn 5 and we win, you know? In this case, even only turn 4. Yo, demonic dude, wait, do you have a new uh, name? Or do you, like, Super Saiyan take have the same freaking, um, same freaking profile pick? That would be crazy. Alright, fervent champion, long time no see. Did I miss you? No, not at all. Not at all. No save? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't certain. Okay, double fervent champion. Beautiful. Beautiful. But we're still alive. That is all I care for. As long as we have one life, we're good. Because next turn, we straight up win. Same brother, nothing new. But I mean, hey, the name is new. <laughs> okay, all right. They think that they have a chance here, but the problem is next turn I play the uh, Quintorius and then they just straight up lose. And then they just straight up lose. And there's nothing they can do about it. Literally freaking nothing. Literally freaking nothing they can do about it. There's a Black Source just because I can. And a Dinosaur, okay. And here's Quintorius now. For your troubles. I have two spark doubles here, but I still think we can do enough. That sucks. That sucks. Because now I have to choose. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're freaking good. Okay, alright. Impersonator has to impersonate the Spark Double. Yo, demonic dude! Thank you so much for uh, the freaking 20 bucks! That is so kind of you! I wish you a great day as well, thank you. Now it just got even greater. Even freaking greater. Okay. I will kick it at the butts. <laughs> I will kick it at the butts. That is what is going to happen here. All right. So we're back to 25. We don't have any more things here to do, but we're still fine because we will just build an army. If they're not going face here, they're pretty darn screwed. I want something winning, game winning, I can spend seven mana on, on turn four in standard? Uh, well... Maybe, unironically, the uh, reenact the crime. Turn 4, reenact the crime. You will be able to play something that you discarded, and no matter how much it costs, you will be able to cast it. You deserve it, brother. I'm always enjoying myself on your stream. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Okay, alright. We're still building an army here. It's a Trump beep. Yo, Beans! Welcome! I hope you're having a beautiful day. Ah, that wasn't the smartest thing ever. I forgot about that. Oh, wait. This one was a spark double. Well, then it was smarter than I thought. Then it was actually smarter than I thought. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was actually smarter than I thought. All right. I mean, we were down to what? I don't even know, but uh, they're down to four life now, and it will be even more next turn, because I will just copy the Trumpet Incarnate or get myself another Quintorius, and then deal him four damage. Um, I mean, they could attack one of the Quintorius Psy, but then they will just lose their whole freaking board, and then what? They have two, four, six, eight. Uh, they can block three of my damage here, but that is still all right. Been away for two years. Could you still still play? Where is Mito? I wanted the same thing. Where is Mito Massacre? Where are you, Mito Massacre? 
Our opponent seems to be a little bit salty. Maybe they need some water. Oh, that was the wrong one. Here it is. <sighs> yup. Super salty. Let's give him a little heart. Let's give him a little heart. For letting the timer run out like this. I mean, what are they even supposed to do anymore, you know? Oh, please don't make more knights! <gasps> Whatever will I do? <laughs> Whatever will I do? Oh, no. Oh, not more knights. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> oh, now they're convoking. Okay, that is absolutely all right with me. There's nothing that convokes that will scare me. Literally nothing that convokes that will scare me. <laughs> Yo, Sparks, that is me. <laughs> That is me! It's not like a character from, uh, you know, Dungeons and Dragons. Not even at all. Not at all. Alright. We don't have a blue source. Is that right? Is that right? We don't have a blue source. Okay. Well, I mean, that is what it is. That is what it is. I didn't know we didn't have a blue source. Okay, passing the turn here. They don't have trample. So do I even care? They freaking don't have trample. So I would say nay, I don't care. Not having a blue source here was kind of whack. So this is 4, 8, 13... 28, 37, block the big things first. And then we count again. 8, 12, 16, good enough. Amber Cleave. Do we lose now because Amber Cleave? We don't. Okay. All right. We did not lose because. Oh, we did lose because Amber Cleave! No! Amber Cleave! Because I didn't have a blue source! Because I did not have a blue source! No way, man! No way! Well, fair enough. Alrighty! Um, the hand is pretty good. Thanks to Giruda. Absolutely keeping that. Looks like another auto win. Up, oh, okay, alright. Um, I have to pay here because it will cost two. This time I was smurred. This time I smurted it out. Nine lives. The thing is, we can get rid of the other one, so it doesn't really matter. Like the, what's it called? I don't even know. You just played a flat five as a seventh interval? You have hexproof. I need to see how Quintorius is, uh, deals two damage to each opponent. Well, we shall see about that hexproof, my friend. We shall see about that. Passing a turn. Because it doesn't target, you know? Alright. The ley line binding now for your troubles. Here's a Carnosaur. Let's hope that we find Quintorius now. 
There he is. There he is. Okay, so they will lose to their own nine lives. That is just what is going to happen here. At least we will see. Yup. Alrighty. Keeping this one. Here's a spark double now. Perfection. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Solemnity combo. You have no chance here. You have no freaking chance. We're 10 to 2 right now. That is delicious. That is absolutely delicious. Okay, alright. Here's another clever impersonator. <laughs> Do we even have some left? Yeah, we have one spark double left. And then they lose to their own freaking nine lives. Their own freaking nine freaking lives can't protect you. They can't. Oh, oh, wait. What is happening? You lose. You freaking lose. I would say that is an 11 to 2 right now. 11 to 2. Get crushed. Robert gets D bomb. Oh, no. They're playing Quintorius. <gasps> Krimus! Yes, Krimus! This is beautiful. Yo, see you soon, my friend. Thanks for tuning in, as always. I really appreciate it. Yo, Meili, how you doing, my friend? I hope you're doing well. There's no need to use the herd migration yet, you know? Oh, Phoenix beat this deck. Phoenix has beaten this deck. So we will see about this. Leyline Binding is insanely good here. Let us see what they're doing. They want to counter this or nay. They don't want to counter it. Okay, passing the turn then. We're looking pretty good right now, not gonna lie. Not gonna freaking lie. Because, um... We will just leyline binding their ledger shredder. And see what they're doing then. Big lock prankster, okay. Sneeze. Okay, they discarded the Phoenix. Don't really care about that too much. Another Phoenix, okay. Alright. But they have to use something here. So that means we win. Leyline binding on the Phoenix. Earth Migration for another blue source here, so we can play Garuda. We did have a blue source, but it, it's still important. They just threw away their only chance to ever win this. They just threw it away. Unless we don't hit anything here. Which just kind of happened. Which just kind of happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Okay. Do you really have another Phoenix in hand? Yo, really? We still have a chance though, a small insignificant chance. Small insignificant chance. This is the deck that beat this deck, so... Yeah, we will see. We will see. We could still draw something worth our while, you know? One, two, three. There was another Phoenix in there? Where did this come from? Oh my lord, come on, top deck city. No top deck city for us, eh? 
Well, we lost against the deck that beat this one. We lost to it, fair and square. Should have gotten the freaking uh, ledger shredder here. Oh, that is why we didn't hit anything. Now I know, now I know. We're up against El Moliardo. Whatever that means, I need to know. So if you speak Spanish, please let me know what a Moliardo is. Is it a mole? It, it, it's not a mole, right? No way it is a mole. <laughs> oh, no thoughts, he's turn one. Okay, I'm impressed. No thoughts, he's turn two. All right, I'm even more impressed now. Vampires, go blank. Absolutely all right with me. If I can choose, I'm fine with it. Okay. Liliana. This is my home, and I don't appreciate it when people touch my things. Big things. Getting rid of you now. If I draw an untapped land, we're super good here. We didn't, though. Taking this just in case they have more discard stuff. Just in case. Okay, please, no thoughtsies. That is alright. That is absolutely alright. Because now they will Liliana it up, and then we still have the Quintorius. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> as long as their last card is not a Thoughtseize, we're alright. If their last card is a Thoughtseize, I will be very sad. It is not. And we even found a backup Quintorius, just in case. And now we give him a little Liliana slappity slap. Well, sad that this was the first one we found, but hey, still okay. We can do it again. As long as it's not another one straight up, we're kind of alright. Perfect. Freaking perfect. Oh, baby! We're cooking now! Call me Gordon Ramsay because you get raw dogged here, my friend. That is right! That is right! Try to defeat a master of mono black with mono black. Double go blank. Liliana. All of that did not help you. You're too weak. Nobody defeats elephants. Nobody does. We're up against T-Bag. Do it your... I don't know what a rest could be, but it's definitely T-Bag. I don't like the hand. Well, at least we have removal, you know. So let's try and let's give him a friendly wave of the hand. Hello. Um, green would be added, but with this it would be going down to one. I'm very happy we kept this hand. These are all different, so it's fine. Very, very happy we kept this hand. Okay, alright. Just need to find some sauce, you know? Um, dinosaur. Oh, teabag, yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I'm just so bad. Alright? I mean, what's the worst that they could get here, you know? Oh, okay. That is kind of bad, but uh, not the end of the world bad. They're Amalia combo. Freaking Amalia freaking combo. Oh, that was you? That was you, Carlos? <laughs> you didn't like it? Didn't like what I was playing here? Okay, alright. I mean, kind of understandable. You knew what I was playing. You didn't like it. I can understand. Alright, let's get a blue source here because why the heck not? Green. 
Raider Tanuki Dookie. Um. As long as I don't have Amalia, we're good here. Then I can play Garuda. Okay. That is too much. You're just doing too much here, my friend. If they cannot beat us next turn, we have a very, very good chance at winning here. Oh, once you didn't play... Oh, I thought it just the last game where the person just straight up left. <laughs> just straight up freaking left. Okay. I mean, there's no way they can beat us straight up, right? They need so many things to make it happen. So many things to make this happen. Is this try one, then that creature explores? Okay, that is kind of good. And uh, let's give him a little one of these. Play the tar Carnosaur. And just straight up win the game. All right, we did. We did win the game straight up. Oh, how much I love that. Mm, 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 mm. And even the spark double now. Oh, Amalia combo. Oh, Amalia combo. All oh, that life gain isn't anything in my eyes. I mean, I told you. It is good because we have all these freaking removals. And in the end, that was the reason we won here. The absolute craziest reason we won here. Yep, that was it. That was it. Good die to you, T-Bag. Yeah. Who T-Bag 2? Who? Who? T-Bag 2 here now. I'm sorry. I'm bad at T-Bagging. But I'm doing my squats every day. Every day. We're all against neck net to care. I do net to care. All right. Opponent's going first here. It's a crazy hand, but I will keep it. Because we can go Rafine's Tower or Jetmir's Garden first, doesn't really matter. Give him a friendly waver of the hand. Hello! Hello, Netakir! Oh, I've eaten so much. <laughs> first the noodles. <laughs> then I've eaten the freaking uh, cinnamon rolls. Um, We played this one afterwards, right? Oh no! Freaking Phoenix? Oh no, Phoenix would be so bad. So bad. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Alright. Well, I do not like that. I don't want that to happen. <gasps> oh, I do like that though. I really do like that. Really, really do like that. So here is our window of opportunity now, maybe. Let us hope that they play something, so that we can uh, play something as well. So they're thinking about the cards they want to discard. By the way, Fable of the Mirror Break is not that expensive anymore. Let me double check. Uh, card market... Fable of the Mirror Breaker. It's not that expensive anymore. It's like 18 bucks now. Like, I was expecting way more. Way freaking more. Okay, so we will be playing around counter spellage. Absolutely. Now here's dinosaur, okay. We'll absolutely be playing around counter spellage. You have all the arts that is. Oh, the mirror breaker. Yeah, I was talking about the reflection of Kika the Jiki. That is what I meant. Um, pay two here, so it looks like we still have maybe one Leyline Binding left. It will have to play something sooner or later, you know? If they never tap out... That is also fine with me. I will just overrun him with an army of spark doubles. 
What, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that was a little bit funny, not gonna lie. Ever so slightly a little bit funny. So, net to care. He does net to care about the timer running out here. Make disappear. Okay. All right, that is pretty good. That we got rid of two of them is pretty darn good. Not even lying here. Not even freaking lying here. That we got rid of two of their counter spells is insanely good. Okay, all right. Uh, winning with Quintorius will be a little bit hard though, because we already have like two spark doubles gone. That means we only have like four more spells of those. Okay, all right. Very good. I like that. I'm doing it again though. Just doing it again. Because we might be able to win with Karuga here and we're drawing two cards so that is also very good. Very very good and we can cycle this as well. So I am a huge fan. And now we even have the clever impersonator. To cleverly impersonate our Leyline Binding. See, you don't even have to have the combo to win with this deck. That is what is so amazing about it. That is just what is so anti-scoop. That is what I just said. You don't even need the combo. You just wombo by yourself. Two more. Two more, baby. Two more. Alright, we're up against Lorenz. With an R with an heart T. Opponent's going first. Our hand is pretty good though. I mean we have two more to go, so let's do our darnest to make it work, you know? Oh my lord. Okay. Alright. Okay, what is is this deck the new deck that everybody's playing now? Is that what is up now? Okay, so whatever they're doing, we do have an answer, which is already very, very good. I like that. The consider, okay. So one spark double in hand, which is never good. Yo, Danjo, giggle brain? <laughs> you mean giga brain? There it is. I was just waiting for your thoughtsies. Sooner or later, it had to happen. Sooner or later, it had to happen. Still have an okay chance here. If they're not doing anything, we're fine, you know? Another slate of hand. Okay, alright, you have it. We do have the binding, though, which is pretty good. Now we even have double binding. Now let's pass the turn here. Bring down the red source. Okay, alright. I wonder why, though. Really, really wonder why. Uh, let's try to get rid of it straight up. Nice. We got rid of it, straight up. Okay, that is your third Slater. Oh, Shuffler is so fine. <laughs> the Shuffler is so fine. So fine, I want to make you mine. Looks like another Karuga win here. Which is a dinosaur, so they cannot even counter it. Sheldred now. Okay, alright. I mean, they just lost the game. Okay, that is good. I like to see that. I like to see that they just lost the game because I straight up just threw the Quintarius off the top. 
You want to punish me? You want to punish me for having Karuga? That is what you thought would happen, but I punished you for having Sheldred by having the sheer luck of the century, the luck of the Irish Yar. Because they're all pirates, right? Right? No? Not, not the Irish? Rubber against El Cavito Bill Bill Litano. <gasps> Crimus! Yes, Crimus! Is this Twitch stream still online? Here it says offline, which like confuses the freaking heck out of me. No, no, it's still online. Okay, weird. Weird, but okay. Weird, but okay. Thought season. Three, two, one. Told ya! It just said on offline here, so I was like kind of confused. Never not have a thought, sis. So I think out of like 10 games against black uh, aligned decks, two of them didn't have a thought, sis, on turn one. Two of them, which is kind of crazy. Oh, it's a waste not deck. Okay. All right. That is pretty good against us, not even lying. We just need to survive for a little bit here. Little bits. Okay, so we might win next turn. If they don't find another thought, sees. Alright, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, alright. Well... I think we're, um, I think we're getting into diamond now. I think we're getting into diamond now. No cap. No cap. I really think we do. And that is it. Then that is it, Mr. That's it. Okay. Here's a trumpety car in story number two. All right, that is a little bit bad, but hey, I mean, at least we're getting a lot of trumpeting carnosaurs. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there it is. Thank you, game. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Sweetest baby Jesus, man. What was that? <laughs> Yo, the cards were already shuffled, even if, like, we're, we're very deterministic here at MTG Malone's. Very, very much so. Alrighty. Um, let me see, how many more do I have left? I have one more spark double left, so I can do it. I can do it once more here. But isn't that enough? Isn't three times... No, it's six, six, six. I'm, I'm so bad at math sometimes. So freaking bad at math sometimes. They, they still had enough. They didn't want to see it. Diamond, baby! Diamond! Let's go! Day one diamond! I love it! I freaking love it! Yo, Sergeant Striker, welcome! Day one diamond! That is the way it's supposed to be here at MTG Malone's. And tomorrow, we do Mythic! <laughs> Get out of here! Shine bright like a diamond! Easy. Easy. I mean, you've been here. You've seen it. I played a total of, I think, uh, 31 games or something like that. And I won 80% of them. Like, 80% of the games were won. Easy peasy. If you want to get into Mythic, my friends, this is the deck for you. Will I be using it? Maybe. But, you know, I also have to record some more stuff than only one deck, which is... Sometimes kind of the curse of a content creator, but also the fun, you know, just find new ways to do it. Just find other ways to do it. Just go ahead and, you know, play as many decks as you can. That is what we're doing here. If you are still here, thank you very much. Sometimes I'll try to do some other content, like, you know, other formats. Um, doing my best to get that in without, like, breaking it out too much. But the new set will be here very soon. Uh, on the 10th, we will have the stream where I will be presenting the new set alongside a, new, a lot of other content creators that are very, very darn cool, of course. Join me during my stream. <laughs> Join the Discord so you've got all the information there in the worst case. And uh, yeah, all of that jazz. If you are still here, please put a little Quintorius Malone down below in the comments because I would like 
to be that elephant sometimes. And remember, my friends, that if you're waking up tomorrow morning and see the beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>